how to send messages to google chat from notion database automatically so assume that you are maintaining some task list in notion and whenever you are adding any new task here you want that the same task should be shared with your team on google chat automatically yes it is possible whatever the new data new task new client details you are adding into notion those details can be shared automatically with your team on google chat in this way you do not have to share the same thing at two different places individually so do you also want to sync these two applications come with me and i will show you the whole process step by step now to automate this process i'll have to integrate notion application with the google chat and i am going to integrate these two with the pabli connect which is an integration and automation software and here you can see i am an existing user so i am already logged in you can also create your free account in just 2 minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free task to test this automation now once you will reach to the dashboard click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i will provide the name something like send messages on google chat from notion automatically okay i am providing this particular name now simply click on create and then you will notice two boxes in front of you okay so these are actually trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever this happen then automatically do this understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application okay so this is how you need to always select the application in which you are building an automation and here according to our use case whenever any new data is added in notion application then automatically send those details in google chat application okay so that is why i have selected both the applications in this trigger and action window okay now the idea here is i am going to connect these two applications one by one with the pabli connect okay so firstly i will select the trigger even that is new database item you can also read the instructions triggers when a new item is created in our database so assume that i am adding a new task details here those task details will be captured via pabli connect once i will connect the notion with the pabli connect okay so simply click on add a new connection click on connect with the notion and then you will have to provide the access of your notion application but i am already logged in in notion in a different app so instead of asking asking me the access it is directly asking me for the permission of the page okay so here you can notice whatever the pages i have created in my notion application have started visible here and i am going to provide the access to all the pages at least for now okay so clicking on allow access and this is how my notion application will be connected with the pabli connect all right so authorization was also successful and here you can notice whatever the databases are available inside my notion application have started visible here let me show you these were the pages okay employee details pabli task details all youtube channels and the same thing is visible here since we are connected okay so currently i will select this specific database that is pabli task details or the issue details okay so let me select the same coming back to my pabli connect dashboard and i have selected the same now as soon as i'll click on this button you will see the most recent data data which was added inside our notion application will be captured via pabli connect okay so let me click on this button in front of you and here you can notice as soon as i have selected this button the response is received now let me show you the details one by one so here you can notice we have this via support team well this is the same text basically this resource okay we have the issue name that is free trial we have the description of the issue we have the assigned to and the deadline okay so let me show you the same data here okay here you can notice the issue name that is free trial is expired okay the spelling of free trial is not correct so let me first correct the spelling okay so here i will edit the spelling it should be t r i a l i have updated the same now i'll have to click on the save and send test request once again so that the correct details can be fetched up via pabli connect all right so here you can notice we have the correct details okay let me also show you other details so where 
where is the description all right so here you can notice the whole description of the issue and here we have the date basically the deadline date and lastly we have the assigned to the name of the person to whom we are going to assign this particular task this particular issue okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that connection in notion and pably connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time you are going to add a new data in notion the details will be captured via pably connect automatically in every eight hours now why in eight hours because the trigger here is the polling based and this trigger will check for the new data in every eight hours okay so just in case if your data is not getting updated in real time if your messages are not getting sent in real time don't worry about that you'll have to wait for at least eight hours patiently but after eight hours the messages will get sent for sure okay so the first step of our automation is done now i'm going to send these details with my team to my team over google chat okay so the application is already selected now i will select the action event as create message and just like we have connected pably connect and notion now i will be connecting google chat and pably connect and here you can see it is connected immediately since i am already logged in in my google chat application now the first thing it is asking for the chat webhook url so i would recommend you to read these instructions and then visit this particular documentation okay so firstly i will take you to my google chat application okay so this is the application and here you can notice i have created a group i have created a space with the name pably marketing team so firstly click on this arrow button then click on apps and integration then click on manage webhooks option and from here exactly you can create your webhook url okay so i am going to delete this existing url so that i can show you everything from the scratch so you just need to provide the name and the avatar url and this is how you will get the webhook url okay so let me provide the name i am providing any random name something like connection with notion okay i'm providing this particular name asking for avatar okay so you can again visit this particular documentation and from here exactly you can get the avatar okay so let me copy the same avatar url and make sure that you do not copy this full stop okay so don't worry i will remove this let me paste the same remove this full stop from the end and clicking on save and this is how a webhook url will be provided let me copy it from this copy button coming back to my pably connect dashboard and here exactly i am going to paste to the chat webhook url now it's turn to create to compose a message and then we are all done okay so what kind of message i would like to send to my team well i have already created a small text okay so let me first paste the same and then i am going to correct the formatting of this particular message okay details of task are as follows okay and here i have already added all all the fields basically the issue name the assigned to the deadline the resource of issue okay and these are the same columns which i have added into my notion application let me show you okay so here we have issue name assigned to deadline and resource of issue okay so you can notice issue resource assigned to deadline i think i should also include this description as well here okay so let me add a description in the last okay so i have added the same and now i am going to provide all these details one by one here how well remember we have just received the data into our previous step and the interesting part is i don't need to manually copy this this data and paste it here i am going to map this data and mapping is very simple inside pably connect you just need to click on this field and you will find the above data here in the drop down okay so here i will map the issue name which was free trial expiration i remember that all right so here we have the issue name i have mapped it asking for assign to how about i press enter so that the data will be visible very clearly assigned to so i will search for the name of the person i'm sorry for that 
all right so i have mapped the name of the team member also and you must be thinking that what is this mapping okay so whatever the details you are going to map here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time okay and whatever the details we have provided manually okay so these details will remain same okay so that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation and this is how this automation is going to take place lastly i am going to provide the description of the task of the issue here okay so let us search for the description all right so here we have the description so i think i have created i have composed my message now i'll be clicking on this button and you will notice that immediately a message will be arrived on my google chat and here you can notice the same message has been arrived already and automatically okay so let me show you the details the message okay a new task has been added in notion database detail of task are as follows the issue name is free trial expiration pop up is not working so many users have have reported this assigned to sonam deadline date is 18 may resource of issue via support team and here we have the description and lastly thanks okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that connection in google chat and pably connect is also working absolutely fine okay so here you can notice in the response also we have received a positive response okay so this is how now onwards every time you are going to add any kind of details inside your notion application those details from your page from your table can be shared automatically with your team on google chat so that you do not have to copy these details and paste it here manually again and again one by one and to automate this process you need to create this automation inside pably connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because pably connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually okay and just in case if you want to access this automation inside your pably connect account i will also attach this link into my description box okay you just need to click on this link and sign up into the pably connect and then you will be able to access this workflow this automation inside your pably connect account that to for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pably connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video